Malaria Parasite Introduction Malaria is the most lethal parasitic disease of humans caused by different species of plasmodium. Plasmodium falciparum is the most common and most lethal species worldwide. Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale, Plasmodium malaria, and Plasmodium nolesi. It's known to cause infection in Indonesia and Malaysia. Female Anopheles mosquitoes are the definitive host, and humans are the intermediate host. The life cycle of a malarial parasite. Man gets infected by the bite of the vector, transmitting the sporozoites, which is the infective form. Human cycle. In humans, the asexual cycle takes place through three stages, pre-erythrocytic schizogony, erythrocytic schizogony, and gametogony. Pre-erythrocytic or hepatic schizogony. Sporozoite, infective form, infects hepatocytes within 30 minutes, then undergoes one cycle of primary exoerythrocytic schizogony and releases hepatic merozoites. Hepatic merozoites invade the red blood cells, undergo erythrocytic schizogony. Secondary exoerythrocytic schizogony occurs in Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale, in which a few sporozoites in latent forms, known as hypnozoites, reactivate. They undergo secondary exoerythrocytic schizogony, which is responsible for the relapse of malaria. Duration of the pre-erythrocytic cycle for different Plasmodium species. Plasmodium falciparum, 6 days. Plasmodium vivax, 8 days. Plasmodium ovale, 9 days. Plasmodium malaria, 13 to 16 days. Recrudescence occurs when red blood cells infection is not eliminated either by the immune system or by therapy due to drug resistance. It leads to the multiplication of parasites and the reappearance of symptoms, recrudescence. It's more common in Plasmodium falciparum, but can occur in all species of Plasmodium. 2. Erythrocytic schizogony. Hepatic the merozoites attach to specific receptors of red blood cells. Plasmodium falciparum, receptors are CD147, Plasmodium vivax, Duffy blood group antigen. Early trophozoite, which is ring-shaped, changes into late trophozoite, which transforms into immature and then mature schizont. After this, the red blood cells rupture, releasing erythrocytic merozoites. Duration of this cycle. In Plasmodium falciparum, vivax, Ovale, it is 48 hours. In Plasmodium malaria, it's 72 hours. In Plasmodium nolesi, it is 24 hours. Plasmodium falciparum nolesi infects all ages of red blood cells. Plasmodium vivax only infects red blood cells more than 14 days of age. Plasmodium ovale infects only reticulocytes, and Plasmodium malaria infects old red blood cells. Parasitemia of more than 2% leads to severe malaria. The parasite derives its nutrition inside the red blood cells by digestion of hemoglobin. It's seen as the malarial pigment becomes visible inside the red blood cells in the late trophozoite and schizont stage. The parasite also alters the red blood cells membrane, leading to formation of clefts and vacuolations. Incubation period is defined as the duration of one liver cycle plus two to three cycles in red blood cells. For Plasmodium falciparum, the incubation period is 12 days. For Plasmodium vivax, the incubation period is 14 days. For Plasmodium ovale, the incubation period is 17 days. For Plasmodium malaria, the incubation period is 28 days. Gametogony. Some hepatic smerozoites, after entering into red blood cells, transform into sexual forms, gametocytes. Mature micro and macro gametocytes are formed, which are the infective forms for the mosquito. They are capable of transmission only when they are mature, viable, and present in sufficient density. 12 gametocytes per cubic millimeters of blood to infect mosquitoes. Mosquito cycle. A female Anopheles mosquito takes both asexual and sexual forms during the blood meal. Asexual forms get digested, while as sexual forms, gametocytes, 
undergo further development inside the gut of the mosquito. These gametocytes convert into macro and micro gametocytes. Macro and micro gametocytes get fused to form zygote, which forms okinete. It penetrates the gastrointestinal wall of the mosquito and forms an oocyst, sporogeny. Oocyst burst and releases sporozoites. These are transported to the salivary gland of the mosquito. Sporozoite is the infective stage that the mosquito injects into the human. The extrinsic incubation period. It's the time required to complete the life cycle in the mosquito. For Plasmodium falciparum, it's 9 to 10 days. For Plasmodium vivax, it's 8 to 10 days. For Plasmodium ovale, it's 14 to 16 days. For Plasmodium malaria, it is 25 to 28 days. Trophozoite-induced malaria. It occurs due to the entry of trophozoite into the peripheral blood. It can occur in various modes like transfusion malaria by blood transfusion with contaminated blood, congenital malaria due to transplant sensual transmission, mainline malaria, which occurs by contaminated needles, intravenous drug abusers. It has a shorter incubation period as it doesn't have a liver cycle and there are no hypnozoites in Plasmodium vivax or ovale trophozoite infection. Clinical Manifestation Clinically, malaria manifests as benign and malignant. Benign malaria, which is milder in nature. It can be caused by all species. It has a characteristic triad of febrile paroxysm, anemia, and splenomegaly. Febrile paroxysm is intermittent, depending on the infecting species. It occurs on every fourth day, 72-hour cycle for plasmodium malaria, and every third day, 48-hour cycle for the other three species. Febrile paroxysms coincide with the release of merozoites and pigment debris from mature schizont. Anemia that develops in benign malaria is normocytic, normochromic anemia. It occurs due to lysis of red blood cells, accelerated removal of red blood cells by the spleen, dysarethropoiesis, and increased fragility of parasitized red blood cells. Splenomegaly occurs due to the massive proliferation of macrophages that engulf. Malignant tertian malaria or falciparum malaria. Red blood cells which get infected with plasmodium falciparum express plasmodium falciparum erythrocyte membrane protein 1 on their surfaces called knobs. It's responsible for three phenomena. 1. Cytoadherence by intercellular adhesion molecule 1. 2. Resetting is unparasitized red blood cells binding to parasitized red blood cells. 3. Agglutination, in which parasitized red blood cells bind to each other. Complications of falciparum malaria. Cerebral malaria. It's the most dangerous complication. It mostly affects the age group of 3 to 4 years. It leads to diffuse symmetrical encephalopathy. It has a gradual or sudden onset. It can present as a seizure, delirium, or coma. Mortality rate of cerebral malaria is high, up to 15 to 20 percent. Dirk's granuloma is a histopathological finding seen in the patients who die of Plasmodium falciparum. Renal failure. Sequestration plus agglutination leading to the blockage of renal microvasculature causing acute tubular necrosis. Hypoglycemia. It's most commonly seen in children and pregnant women due to reduced hepatic gluconeogenesis. There is increased glucose consumption. Black water fever. It is also a serious complication of falciparum malaria and is characterized by sudden intravascular hemolysis, followed by fever, hemoglobinuria, and dark urine. Other complications include falciparum malaria is characterized by agusplein, pernicious malaria, algid malaria, septicemic malaria, falciparum malaria can lead to pulmonary edema and adult respiratory distress syndrome. It can also cause bleeding, disseminated intravascular coagulation, severe jaundice, severe normochromic, normocytic anemia, and lactic acidosis. Hypoglycemia and lactic acidosis are poor prognostic factors. Chronic complications of malaria, tropical splenomegaly syndrome, 
hyperactive malarial splenomegaly. With chronic or repeated infections by any species, an abnormal immune response is initiated, leading to uninhibited B cell activation, which causes reticuloendothelial cell hyperplasia. Tropical splenomegaly syndrome has characteristically elevated immunoglobulin M and massive splenomegaly. Important malarial nephropathy occurs due to repeated or chronic plasmonium malaria infection, leading to deposition of immune complexes in the glomeruli, resulting in nephrotic syndrome. Note, chronic malaria also promotes Burkitt's lymphoma. Laboratory diagnosis. Microscopic test. A peripheral blood smear is the gold standard investigation. Thick smear, which is more sensitive, is done to know the prevalence of the parasite. Thin smear tells us about the species. Speciation is done based on the following features. Plasmodium vivax has an amoeboid ring form and schizont. Plasmodium falciparum has multiple ring forms, acoli forms, headphone-shaped ring forms, and banana-shaped gametocytes. Plasmodium malaria has band forms. Plasmodium ovale has enlarged fimbriated oval red blood cells with ring forms. Quantitative Buffy coat examination using Kawamoto's technique. The fluorescent dye used is acridine orange. It stains parasitized red blood cells as brilliant green dots. Non-microscopic tests include antigen detection test, rapid diagnostic test, or immunochromatographic test. Detect pan-malarial antigens, and even there are card tests specific for falciparum antigen, histidine-rich protein 2. Culture can be done on Roswell Park Memorial Institute 1640 medium. Molecular diagnosis is done using a polymerase chain reaction targeting 185 recombinant deoxyribonucleic acid. Treatment According to National Vector Borne Disease Control Program Guidelines, India, for Vivax malaria, chloroquine is the drug of choice. For prevention of relapse of malaria, primaquine is used. Falciparum malaria, northeastern states. Regimen includes artemisinin combination therapy, artemether, lumefantrine on the first day, and primaquine on the second day. It's important to note that artemisinin combination therapy, artemether, lumefantrine, is contraindicated in pregnancy, first trimester, and children, less than 5 kg weight. Other states, artemisinin combination therapy, Artesanate, sulfadoxine paramethamine on first day, primaquine on second day is given. In severe malaria cases, drugs like artesanate, quinine, artemether, artether are administered. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.